Smart garage doors are pretty easy to come by, but the problem is I don't think they're nearly smart enough. You see, opening and closing my garage door with my voice assistant, well, that gets pretty old after a while. Come on, Mia. Opening garage door and turning off house. Have a safe drive. Have a good day, Nick. You see, I need something more. I need a garage system that's smart enough to turn the lights off for me, turn off any electronic devices, and of course, open the garage door for me. But I need something more than just automatically opening the door for me. I need something smart enough to automatically close the door whenever I've left the garage. Over the past few weeks, I've been testing something that frankly looks more like a bomb than it does a garage door opener. But hey, this is just a beta test, okay? And I've got all the bugs worked out, and I think I'm ready to build the real thing for my girlfriend. It needs to have all the same features, such as automatically opening the garage door when she gets home, as well as turning on the lights when she walks in. And maybe a gentle reminder in case any of us happen to forget to close the garage door. Nick's garage door has been left open for 15 minutes. But this time, I want to add a few more features just to take it to the next level. So let's get to building. Now the first thing that a smart garage door needs to be able to do is open the garage door. And that's done with a relay. Now a relay is something that completes an electrical circuit. And your garage door already has a relay. That's what your garage door button is. And I'm gonna simulate a garage door button with a D1 Mini Relay Shield. Now a relay doesn't really do anything by itself. It needs something to control it. And for that, I'm gonna use a D1 Mini. The D1 Mini is what makes a relay smart. And this allows me to connect it to Home Assistant. But in my opinion, a smart garage door isn't very smart if it can't tell you if the garage door is open or closed. So for that, we're gonna use a reed switch. A reed switch uses a magnet and a wire to tell if the magnet is close to the wire. And the way we're gonna hook this up is we're gonna attach the magnet to the garage door and the wire to the garage door track. So when the garage door is open, the magnet will be close to the wire, letting us know that the garage door is open. And of course, when the magnet is away, we'll know the garage door is closed. Awesome, so now we have the ability to control the garage door from our phone. But I want the garage door to automatically open whenever I get home and automatically close whenever I leave. So for that, we need a transceiver in the car. And to make our transceiver, we're gonna use a D1 Mini Pro. So whenever we come home and the D1 Mini Pro reconnects to our Wi-Fi network, it'll automatically open the garage door for us. And also, whenever we drive away from home and the D1 Mini Pro disconnects from our Wi-Fi network, the garage door will automatically close. And this is great, but it does have one major flaw. Whenever you come home and you turn off the car, the garage door will automatically close on you. Now you could set up a delay, but the delay would also happen whenever you drive away. So you may miss the garage door actually closing or not. So I really only want the delay to happen whenever the car is home. So to do this, I need to know if the car is in the garage. And to set that up, I'm gonna use what's called a sonar sensor. So when we park our car under the sonar sensor, it'll read the distance between the car and itself and know that the car is parked in the garage. Thus, it won't automatically close the garage door on us. Now to power the D1 Mini Pro, I'm gonna use micro USB. That means I can charge it off of any regular charging outlet in my car. Now my car isn't new enough for this feature, but my girlfriend's car has a remote start. So when she starts her car, the garage door will automatically open for her. Now I also added a temperature sensor to her transceiver. So what this lets us do is on the really cold mornings when she remote starts her car, we keep an eye on the internal temperature of her car to know whenever it's actually warmed up enough to go. And I also added a carbon monoxide sensor to the garage door opener but there are still a lot of bugs we worked out with this. If I get them all figured out, I'll definitely let you guys know. I have some more ideas in the future. And of course, I automated the outside lights as well. That way they turn on at night whenever you come home and they turn off once you're inside. Now I could leave these lights on all the time since they actually have a photo cell in them. So that way they turn on at night and turn off in the morning, but I'm not a big fan of leaving my lights on all the time. Well guys, let me know what you think. Now I know that automating a garage door isn't exactly the most necessary thing, but I had a lot of fun doing it, and it's something I get to use every single day. And if you want to automate your garage door, be sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss out on my upcoming step-by-step -step video, as well as my detailed written guide. But with that said, I'll see you in the next one.